Why is it that righteous men are dying? Holy men are broke. If it was about keeping scores, if I'm holy like this, and if I'm clean, then I get this. Then God is making a very bad example because it's so bad that even the most righteous are broke. Even the proponents of this holiness gospel that they don't know what holiness is. The proponents are saying, don't sin so that God will bless you. Are you crazy? Seek ye the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now the Bible says Christ has been made our righteousness. So when we receive Christ, we already have his righteousness. We don't need to be looking for it. Then he says here, the kingdom and his righteousness. Now Jesus came. Now we know Jesus is our righteousness. But what about the kingdom? He says it this way. That when you see people say there is the kingdom, there is the kingdom. Don't believe them. For the kingdom does not come by men's observation. It says when they shall say there is the kingdom. Don't believe them. For the kingdom is on the inside of you. Huh? So we were to seek his righteousness. Now the Bible says he is our righteousness. Uh, and the Bible says we need to seek what? The kingdom. And Jesus said don't look for the kingdom. It's already inside you. So now we have Jesus as our righteousness. We have the kingdom inside us. And we're still looking for righteousness in the kingdom. I, I need to go to my people. This side. We are the most foolish when we start begging for what we already own you have the holy ghost you have jesus that means you have his righteousness because christ is our righteousness what about the kingdom he says do not look for the kingdom for it does not come by men's observation for the kingdom is already inside you neither shall they say lord there lord here Lord, there, behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Luke 17, 21. So why are you looking for the kingdom? No, I just need righteousness. I just need, uh, what happens with the preachers of today? They are busy trying to locate your sin. That you yourself don't even know that you don't need to be right in order to get the blessing. Oh my God, I wish I could, I wish I could preach this 17 times. Why is it that righteous men are dying? Holy men are broke. If it was about keeping scores, if I'm holy like this and if I'm clean, then I get this. Then God is making a very bad example because it's so bad that even the most righteous are broke. Their children die. Even the proponents of this holiness gospel that they don't know what holiness is. The proponents are saying, don't sin so that God will bless you. Are you crazy? You just don't know. One of the proponents of it who is not even living the life that he's talking about is in Nigeria there. Lost relatives, dead, dead, this one dead, this one dead. What is happening? You call it because it's the devil who is doing it, but I thought if you live a holy life, it will all be all right. And yeah, the Bible says it this way. If Christ really died on the cross, what is the purpose of your works? If it is of works, why did Jesus Christ die on the cross? Because you were able to do it for yourself. The idea of God was I am able, the Jews... Do you see why the heaven laws were given? Do you know why the, the ceremonial laws were given? They were given because of one thing. The Jews had said, we are able to do it. We don't need the Messiah. God then brought the law to prove them wrong. No, no, they're not getting it. They're not getting it. The law was not given by God so that you follow it. <laughs> God was trying to show that the law is my standard and no human can be able to fulfill the law. So the Jews then argued with God and said, we will be able to do it. Then he said, every woman who sits on a sofa, in any chair, when they are on their menses, the chair is now unclean and the house is unclean. Take them out to the out house. The whole that, the, 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 this hole that is like secluded where that person can be alone for seven days. 
they are unclean. My question is, Lord, who made the woman to go on menses? Were you not thinking when you made that that you were also unclean? If your blood was unclean, let me talk to my sons. You are able to beat your wife until she bleeds. And you are not embarrassed by that blood. But you are embarrassed by immenses. <laughs> when the Bible is talking about the law, it's talking about the law in this case. God is saying, I know you think you can reach my standards of holiness. So I'm going to give you what my standards are. If a man has got beard on this side like my brother there. The Bible, stand up, stand up, stand up. This is what the Lord says about your haircut says it's an abomination unto the Lord. <laughs> My question then is, who bought the razor blade? Is it you, God, or is me? Now, he will be next to holiness, but because he shaped it wrong. But those who remove their beard, like myself, it's an abomination. It means when God sees it, oh, he gets put off. By just removing the beard, my own beard, the one he created. Let me tell you something. They are clean men like us. Anyway. <laughs> I'm about to attack now. <laughs> that when they have a beard, they feel like they are biting on some rabbit or something. It just feels like why? <laughs> Just warn like this. I'll be like, no, 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 no. Call the Baba now. We need to remove this. And then there are some who will be like, this is it. And then there are some women who will be like, I need a man with a full beard. <laughs> Forget holiness. Forget how clean he is. Beard. My dream man. Based on a beard. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm trying to say? <laughs> so now what God was doing was to bring in some very ridiculous laws. That if you read the laws, you wonder what type of God would be so... <sighs> it's puny. It's like, it's like he, childish. You are angry at things that... Why? God was not trying to show you that these are the laws I require. No. Because what he was trying to do there was to teach the Jews that if I give you my level of holiness, you will not be able to match. Now, if you are not able to match up with my holiness, guess what? You need something else that is outside of these laws. So God's intention in the Old Testament was for the Jew to say, I need Jesus. Oh, I need a savior because I can't do it in the flesh. 